السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا پاکستان ویٹرنری ایجوکیشن آئی ایم طلح شفیق اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ٹارسل بونز آف ڈاگس ڈیٹ آر پریزنٹ ان دا پیس ریجن بیسیکلی پیس ریجن کنٹین تھری ٹائپس آف بونز ٹارسس میٹا ٹارسس اینڈ ڈیجٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا اناٹمی آف ٹارسل بونز دا ٹارسل بون آر سیون شارٹ بونز اینڈ دیز ٹارسل بون آر ارینج ان تھری ارگولر روز and combinedly they form hawk or tarsus region no first one is proximal row proximal row contain two bones medially talus bone is present while laterally this row contain calcaneous bone now if we look at the talus bone you can see that it has trochlea on its proximal end this trochlea actually articulate with the tibial cochlea This is discussed in the anatomy of the tibia. The joint between trochlea and the tibial cochlea is called tarsocrural joint and it is responsible for the flexion and extension between leg and pes. So the talus bone proximally articulate with the tibia uh, while laterally it articulate with the calcaneus bone and distally with the central tarsal bone. Now the second bone of the proximal row is calcaneus bone uh, and the articulation of this bone is medially it articulate with the talus bone and distally with the fourth tarsal bone. This is tuber of calcaneus bone that projects proximally and caudally. This is called tuber calcanei. It's very important as extensor muscle inserts over here via a common tendon called calcanean tendon. medial side of the calcaneus a bony process is present called sustentaculum tali here tendon of lateral digital flexor glides over the plantar surface after the proximal row central row contain a single bone that is central tarsal bone central tarsal bone is present between proximal and distal row proximally it articulate with the head of the talus bone uh, this is head of the talus bone while distally central tarsal bone articulate with the first second and third tarsal bones in the distal row in the last row is the distal row comprises four bones that are first second third and fourth tarsal bones and the numbering starts from the medial to lateral first tarsal bone is flattened uh, in shape and uh, if we talk about the articulation then Uh, first tarsal bone articulate proximally with the central tarsal bone uh, while distally with the first metatarsal bone and laterally with the second tarsal bone second tarsal bone is wedge shaped and proximally it articulate with the central tarsal bone distally with the second metatarsal bone medially with the first and laterally it articulate with the third tarsal bone Uh, similarly this is third tarsal bone that is also wedge shaped proximally it articulate with the central tarsal bone distally with the third metatarsal bone medially with the second and laterally it articulate with the fourth metatarsal bone now the most important bone of this row is the fourth tarsal bone it form the distal row laterally it is remarkably high and resembles a quadrangle prism it articulate with the calcaneus proximally while distally it articulate with the third and fourth metatarsal bones and uh, medially you can see that it articulate with the central tarsal bone and uh, then third tarsal bone the length of the fourth tarsal bone is about the combined length of the central tarsal bone and third tarsal bone Uh, it is clear uh, in the picture you can see that length of the four tarsal bone is about the combined length of central and third tarsal bone on the distal half of the lateral side a groove is present for the passage of uh, peroneus longus or the tendon of fabularis longus muscle uh, this is all about tarsus or hawk I uh, hope that you have understand the anatomy of the tarsal bone very well 
प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड इफ यूर न्यू ऑन अवर चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो अबाउट वेटनी फील्ड प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड योर लव वंस मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो स्टे ब्लेस्ड अल्लाह हाफिज